study class 6th ncert science chapter number 13 sound what is this girl boy and girl doing yes this girl is beating the utensils this boy is beating the drum and this girl is playing the keyboard what is sound a sound is a wave of vibration that travels through solids, liquids and gas. Question number one. Choose the correct answer. Sound can travel through gases only, solids only, liquids only or solids, liquids and gases. Yes, you are right. The answer is solids, liquids and gases. Voice of which of the flowing is likely to have a minimum frequency. Baby girl, baby boy, a man or a woman? Yes, the answer is a man. Number three. In the following statements, tick true against those which are true and false against those which are false. Number one. Sound cannot travel in a vacuum. It is true. The number of oscillations per second of a vibrating object it's called, is called its time period. False. If the amplitude of vibration is large, the sound is feeble. False. For human ears, the audible range is 20 hertz. To 20,000 hertz. True. The lower the frequency of vibration, the higher is the pitch. False. Unparted or unpleasant sound is termed as music. False. Noise pollution may cause partial hearing impairment. True. Number four. Fill in the blanks with situable words. Time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is called time period. Loudness is determined by the amplitude of vibration. The unit of frequency is hertz. Unwanted sound is called noise. The shrillness of a sound is determined by the dash of vibration. By the frequency of vibration. Question number 5 is a numerical. A pendulum oscillates 50 times in 4 seconds. Find its time period and frequency. First, we need to know what is the formula of time period. Solution. Time period is equal to time upon number of oscillations. Which is equal to now they have given that the time is 4 seconds. So we write here 4. Oblay and they have given the number of oscillations is 40 times. So we write here 40. Which is equal to 4 times of 4. 4 times of 40. Which is equal to 1 oblique 10. Which is equal to. is equal to 0 0.1. Therefore, time period
is equal to zero point zero point one second. Now we need to find what is the frequency. To find frequency, first we need to know what is the formula of frequency. Frequency is equal to number of oscillations, oscillations upon time. Which is equal to, they have given that the number of oscillations are 40 times. So, we write here 40 oblique and the time is given in 4 seconds. So, we write here 4. Which is equal to 4 1 of 4, 4 times of 40. Which is equal to 10 oblique 1, which is equal to 10. Therefore, frequency... is equal to 10 hertz because we measured the frequency in hertz. Question number 6 is also numerical. The sound from a mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wings at an average rate of 500 vibrations per second what is the time period of the vibration first we need to know what is the formula of time period time period is equal to Sorry, time period is equal to time oblique number of vibrations. Which is equal to here, time is given in per second, which means 1 oblique and the number of vibrations are 500. So, we write here 500. This is equal to 0 is equal to 0 0.002 seconds. Therefore, time Period is equal time period is equal to zero point zero zero two seconds. Question number seven. Identify the part in which vibrates to produce sound in the flowing instruments. Dholak, sitar, and Flute. In the holak, the vibrating part is stretch membrane. In sitar, the vibrating part is 
strings of sitar and in and in a flute the vibrating part is the air collar question number 8 what is the difference between noise and music can music make a noise sometimes the difference between noise and music is that noise is unpleasant to hear and it is not in order and music is pleasant to hear and it is in order yes music can become noise sometimes when it is too loud question number 9 list the sources of noise pollution in your surroundings sources of noise pollution in our surroundings are number 1 sound of vehicles number 2 sound of kitchen appliances number 3 sound of bursting crackers and number 4 sound of radios and television question number 10 explain in what way noise pollution is harmful to humans noise pollution causes number 1 hypertension number 2 an anxiety and number 3 lack of sleep Question number 12 sketch larynx and explain its function in your own words First we need to draw a diagram of larynx and then we have to explain its function in our own words <laughs> and this is vocal cord now we have to explain its function larynx is also known as voice box it is at the upper end of the windpipe two vocal cords are stretched across the larynx or voice box in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air when lungs force air through the narrow slit the vocal cords vibrate producing sound muscles attached to the vocal cords can make the vocal cords tight or loose question number 13 lightning and thunder take place in the sky at the same time and the same distance from us lightning is seen earlier and thunder is seen later is heard later can you explain why the speed of light is more than that of the speed of sound thus due to more speed of light it reaches us before sound 
So, lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later.